Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that this event had any ill effect on his condition. The three of you smiled at the doctor's prognosis. Inosuke was sitting up now, looking much more alert than before. Ha! Can't take me down that easily! You're a tough cookie, Inosuke! You exclaimed and he grinned brightly. It's probably good for you to rest for a while, Inosuke, Tanjiro said and the doctor nodded in agreement. I'll leave him in your more than capable hands. The doctor smiled at the three of you. But don't hesitate to call on me if something happens. We appreciate your help. Your companion in the green checkered Haori waved him off before turning his attention to you. You did a great job bandaging his injury, Traveler. It looks like a real professional did it. Thank you, Tanjiro. I'm just glad it wasn't more serious. Same here. He looked over at the bruised boy who had plopped back down onto his back. How are you feeling, Inosuke? Never better! You were surprised how much energy came through in his tone. He seemed to have an unbreakable spirit, and you admired him for it. I'm glad to hear it, Tanjiro smiled at you. So, Traveler, after working so hard to take care of Inosuke, I thought you might need a break. You tilted your head and he scooted closer to you. You see, I was in the host's library earlier today, and I found a book you might like. Oh? Yeah, it was a book on forestry and it had lots of pictures, so you could see pretty things without disrupting nature. If you want, I could show it to you. Don't go stealing my girl, Tanjiro! Zenitsu objected tartly. Ugh. What, like you went and stole my line? Tanjiro had run out of patience. Zenitsu gasped loudly in melodramatic offense. <gasps> I, I, I didn't steal it! You just voiced what was already in my heart and I repeated it! Wait, you blinked. So that whole love currency thing? Tanjiro said that? No, Gunpachiro's was better. Inosuke deadpanned. Ah, <laughs> I thought that was unusually smooth for you, Zenitsu. Your comment immediately brought tears to his eyes. Words can hurt, Traveler Chan. Ah, enough of your yammering. Inosuke spat aggressively. It doesn't matter. Traveler agreed to come to my new hideout anyways. You stopped short at his words. I did? You wondered. Wait, did he just get my name right? You imagine it was because Zenitsu repeated it over and over, but for some reason it still felt like a feat worth celebrating. She's not going anywhere with you! You felt arms pulling you backwards. Zenitsu! Tanjiro reprimanded. You can't dictate where Traveler can and can't go! It's her choice! Shut up! Inosuke's volume made you flinch. He stood and pointed a contentious finger. I challenge you, Monitsu! Eh? Prove who's the better man! Fight me! Wait! You just had a close call with your injury. You really should take it easy. The only reasonable boy in the room tried to talk him down. But it was no use. <laughs> Fine! I'll defend Traveler Chan's honor from your savage ways. I accept! Wait, seriously? Even Tanjiro couldn't believe Zenitsu's sudden boost in bravery. Ha <laughs> ha! Finally! Inosuke looked more than ready to go despite his second concussion of the week. But no swords, Zenitsu stipulated. We'll have a race, fair and square. No way! That's no fun at all! Why? It shouldn't be a problem if you're the best at everything, right? Zenitsu shrugged, egging him on with ease. You saw what he was doing. I am the best! Prepare to lose, Monitsu! Will you be the judge, Traveler Chan? Uh, sure. You didn't really condone the boys fighting amongst themselves, but you figured this was a more fair way to settle things. Whatever those things may be. Wait. Exactly what does the winner have to gain from all this? Tanjiro inquired, figuring this was a fruitless endeavor. A kiss from Traveler Chan, of course! Zenitsu eagerly suggested with a hopeful smile and a blush. You can't ask that of her! Tanjiro donned an appalled expression, only to have it melt away when he noticed you giggling. Even you were unsure when your shock had turned to amusement. That is... unless she's willing. On the cheek. You agreed, and Zenitsu let out a tiny squeak of delight. <laughs> if that's the case, I suppose a race might be fun. The blonde visibly deflated when Tanjiro enlisted himself in the competition. 
You're joining too, Tanjiro? I mean, that is, if you don't mind. His cheeks heated up slightly from embarrassment. Of course I don't mind. I mind. Zenitsu mumbled his comment so quietly you were almost certain you imagined it. All right. You clapped your hands together and the three boys followed you back outside. You three start here at the Wisteria Gate. And I'll be over there. Wait for my signal. When I say go, the first person who touches me wins. You jogged a distance away and turned around, noting Tanjiro limbering up with stretches. Inosuke looked fired up, blowing steam out of his mask. Even you couldn't help but catch the excitement. Based on how often they chased each other around, you figured Inosuke and Zenitsu were pretty evenly matched in speed. Now with Tanjiro involved, you were really quite curious to see who would come out on top. Are you boys ready? You called across the courtyard. Ready? Ready! They all hollered in unison. On your mark, get set, go! <laughs> the instant you said go, there was a burst of dust and lightning. You were swept up bridal style before you even saw the boys move. It appeared as if an explosion had gone off right in the entryway. Hehehe, <laughs> I win. You looked up to meet Zenitsu's huge grin. It was now that the smoke began to clear and you could see the other two sprawled on the ground like starfish. <coughs> Plan backfired. Inosuke's voice was strained as he coughed up dust. Tanjiro just looked disoriented. He was flat on his back staring wide-eyed up at the clouds. Good to know Zenitsu gains in human speed when a girl is involved. He mumbled to no one as the blonde put you down. So I get a kiss now, right? Zenitsu was bubbling with so much enthusiasm it made you laugh. <laughs> you have to hold still first. Oh, right! He realized he had been involuntarily wiggling and stopped in place. His whole face turned scarlet when you leaned forward. <laughs> Inosuke ripped him out of reach just before your lips could land. Foot races are stupid anyway! You set me up because you knew you'd win! We can't settle this without a strength test! You only need to be strong to protect your woman! Love conquers all! Not brute strength! He fired back. Shouldn't there be a balance? Tanjiro weighed in his two cents quietly, knowing they would fall upon deaf ears anyhow. He was right. I was meant to win! Her name sounds better with my last name anyway! No, it doesn't. Traveler Hergutsuma. Sounds dumb. Because that's not my name, you illiterate simpleton. Zenitsu replied flatly. Enough, you guys. Tanjiro finally made his way over to you. Don't call him names, Zenitsu. And Inosuke, Zenitsu won the contest fair and square. You can't be mad about it now. During the explanation, you took the opportunity to plant the winner's kiss on Zenitsu's cheek. He instantly morphed into an elated blob of giggles on the ground and Inosuke grunted in annoyance. <laughs> Ugh. By the way, Traveler, I actually have to run an errand before it gets dark. I needed to pick up something for Nezuko from the market, and I was hoping you'd accompany me. Wait! <laughs> the blushing boy interjected. It's almost dinner time, though, and I made you some snacks. Aren't you hungry? Food can wait! Inosuke's voice rang out. I got a cool place to show you! A secret place! Um, what would you rather do, Traveler-chan? <laughs> 